We have concrete. bright out which is actually kind of nice so as you can see we have a driveway we have a walkway exciting things are happening here at the land at the house we're gonna take you guys inside and show you drywall right we have drywall hung mud taped all of the fun things we have to go through and do a walkthrough on the electrical and see all of the things that they have uh, rocked over <laughs> for the electrical. But this was super exciting to walk up and see today. Um, we knew that they were ordering our concrete, but we didn't know they were pouring it. So it was a great surprise for the day after Thanksgiving. So yeah, we're gonna take you inside and see what all fun that they've done other than we know that they have hung the sheetrock, rocked, um, taped it, and mudded. So, yeah, here we go on this bright, sunshiny, very whited out day. into the house and see all the fun stuff that they've been doing in there. I did want to take a minute and just introduce myself to those of you that are new here. Welcome. My name is Felicia and I am a full-time working mom with a total of three kiddos. And on my channel, you will find a variety of content from shop with me, vlogs, hauls, house building stuff, because well, that is what we are knee deep in. And yeah, just a whole bunch of fun stuff. So as I mentioned in today's video, we are going to be walking through the house and checking it out now that they have hung all of the sheetrock, they have taped, mudded, I think they may have installed a banister, not quite sure. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna take a walk through and just kind of see the transformation from pre-drywall to drywall. Um, so if you haven't seen my pre drywall video, make sure you go and check that out. I will link it down below. But yeah, so if that is some fun stuff you want to see, which I hope so, then just keep watching. All right, so we are gonna walk in here. So this is walking into what'll be a powder bath Ooh, off of the patio here. Oh boy, got our actual stairs in. So those will be carpeted and then these will be stained. Door into the garage. It's actually kind of cold today. So we'll go this way. This is the game room. So everything is sheetrocked. Kind of crazy. Extra living space. Little casita 
It's not very, it's not as big as we were thinking it would come out to be, but still pretty nice. I still wish we would have moved that door down like I wanted to, but that's okay. So kitchen, all the kitchen stuff was roughed in. So bedroom, bathroom. So we'll have two options uh, for like restroom off the patio. Full size washer dryer will go here in the bedroom for guests. So kind of just like a little guest area. A little kind of hotel. Walking back through, barn doors. But this right here is uh, probably my favorite or one of my favorite views. We have Trent, Trenter here. Yeah, Trent's one of my favorite views. Oh, that's funny. How about Trent in the in the view here? But um, but yeah. So everything is sheetrocked. We have a couple um, broken windows up there. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but yeah, everything. Let me try and straighten you guys out here. I feel like you're crooked. Um, so going into the master, I know I took you guys on a walk through um, pre-drywall in my last video, so I don't wanna take too much time, but the door going out to the patio. Master. It's just kind of crazy. Now I feel like you can see, um, see everything, like where everything's roughed in a little bit better because now we have sheetrock, so French doors will go here, French doors will go there. Very crazy. Shower, our little pooper cave. And the closet, so washer dryer. Yeah, so this is pretty large, but I kind of wish it would have ended up being a little bit larger, but it'll be good. And the reason why I say that about the closet is because um, there's not a, a lot of closet space in this house, which I've mentioned a few times. So, Walking back out here, there's my favorite view again. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. On the other side of that wall is like the loft area. That's where Dallin's bed's gonna go. This'll be the office. Oh yeah, all the electrical, all of the Smurf tubes. Floor plugs. Look at this. Y'all, this. Trent, what all goes here? Uh, two things. Uh, we have a little bit of cat sticks, a little bit of coax, and then we've got spur tubes up to the media closet and spur tubes above the fireplace for the TV. And Out of control. And we may have needed <laughs> We probably missed one, I'm sure. A uh, small coat closet. Niche. Then this will be another um, spare bedroom slash I might kind of do a little office area like in this corner. Um, not quite sure. Closet. Bathroom. I do love that this house has a lot of windows. I think it just lets so much light in, but then they're also 
like placed pretty well so you can still like have like kind of normal furniture placement. I'm starting to shake because <laughs> I'm actually cold. Um, coming down the hall here. We'll take a right and go into this bedroom. This will be Nakona's bedroom. Sorry if the camera's a little crooked, I don't know. What's going on there? Then this will be his closet. So again, I like that there's windows in the closet, but like you can still utilize the closet because they're a little bit higher. Um, more electrical. Um, full size bath, like full bathroom. That's the other thing about this house is that most of the bath bathrooms all have bathtubs in them, except for the other um, bedroom that I showed you is the spare bedroom before this one. Um, this will be my gym. I'm so super excited about that. My little closet office area that I was telling you about in my last video. If you haven't watched that video, you should go catch it because it is kind of fun to see the pre-dry wall stuff. And we gave a few um, tips in there. But anyways, um, this closet, like I'll use this kind of craft storage, but I'm also gonna, there'll be a pocket door here. So this will actually um, be part wall. But I'm gonna put a desk in here and just kind of have my little, my little girl cave. Um, bathroom, so all the bedrooms in this house either have um, their own bathroom, like a private bathroom, or it's connected to a bathroom. So the gym, this bedroom, which will be the gym, is the only bedroom that shares kind of a hall bath. Well, I take that back. Actually, Dallin's bedroom upstairs does too, but, but I just love that they're all connected. So there'll be French doors here to kind of close off this space. This was an addition that we added. Um, there'll be cabinets here, kind of a mud room here, and then there'll be a pocket door here that goes into the actual laundry room. So super excited about that. And then the garage. Yeah, all right, then we'll walk back in this way. All right, so walking back in to entry into the kitchen option. So there'll be cabinets here, double oven here. Um, there'll be a pocket door here. Talked a lot about pocket doors in our last video. Again, to go catch it. This will be the pantry. Um, we did put outlets, as you can see, in the pantry so that we had the option to put um, some like appliances in there um, so that they're not all on the counter. Um, fridge will go here. This will be a big island here. Uh, dining room slash breakfast nook. Let me turn the lighting up here a little bit. It's a little dark in here today. Patio. And then this will be um, like a... Um, not a coffee station, but kind of just like a beverage area kind of dump space. And we'll go up the stairs. To the media room. This room turned out so huge. But the amount of electrical in here is also a little crazy so um but yeah i think eventually we'll do like a bar here um beverage kind of thing table maybe a poker table um so yeah and then you come down the hallway this will be dallin's bedroom so this is another or Dallin's bathroom. This will be, is another bathroom that's uh, shared with a hall and the bedroom, but really, I mean, nobody's gonna really be using it but Dallin. But again, full-size bathtub, which sounds kind of crazy, but in our last house, one of the bedrooms upstairs only had a shower, a walk-in shower, and it drove me nuts for some reason. Um, and then Dallin's bedroom. 
and then the loft that's attached to his bedroom, which this will be like where his bed goes in the model or like in most in the model and in most when they build this and you do the loft it's just a pony well that looks over into the um like entryway and the family room and i was like yeah but what if somebody's up here like watching tv really loud or you know you're being loud downstairs and then so i was like no like to me that's not that usable so sorry it's kind of hard to tell so we built this we made this a full wall as you can see and then we were like well we can put a bed in here or, you know when the kids move out or whatever that looks like we can make this into another office area so that's for if he wants to hang a tv in here and then he has like all of just the bedroom is like a hangout space he'll put his desk stuff there and then he has the bathroom access so and this just goes to, um, this is a doorway that, um, that's all of that is where all of those Smurf, Smurf tubes and uh, all of those cords. Like, this is crazy. But, I'm grateful for it at the same time, but this is where like all of the receivers and all of the stuff for it, like the media center for our house will be. And then you have um, like an attic door that goes into the attic where one of our furnaces is. And then, yeah. So, go back downstairs. There's Trenner again. But yeah, then you come out this powder door. Maybe if I can get it open without hurting my little hand here. Woo! Yeah. So we'll have the sliders there, that bathroom, and then all of this. <clears throat> and then it's funny because I actually, um, so I watch a lot of Tara Lynn. Um, or Tara Henderson, Tara Lynn Henderson, I guess you could say, on YouTube. And um, interesting enough, she, her and her husband Adam did a video about, um, like, about, like, the, um, their regrets and, like, the things that they loved about when their house that they just had built actually here, and pretty close to us, I think. Um, but anyways, they were talking about, like, you know, things they wish they would have done differently. And it was funny because one of the things that she was talking about, Tara was talking about in that video, was that, um, was that in their, where their bed is, like in their master bedroom, they have a door. Let me flip you around. So they have a door that's similar to this in their bedroom that goes to their patio. But, um, I don't think I can open this, but, um, but they don't have like this extra wall here, which I actually talked about in I think my last video. So she's like, when you're sitting in our bed, she's like, you literally like it's, you can see through the door all the way like into our kitchen and stuff because, um, just because of where like the doors are positioned and stuff. And so I remember, sorry, I'm gonna kind of close so I can switch my hand, but I remember when we were talking about having that door put there that I wanted it, but I didn't want to look, be like be sitting on the patio and be looking into our master bedroom from the patio or vice versa. And so it really worked out. The reason why that happened that way where we have that wall, ah, where we have that wall there is because we pushed, we made our closet bigger. And so that pushed like the whole, let me flip you around. That pushed the whole part of the master side of our house back like another six feet. So this normally doesn't, it normally stops like right about here for the master bedroom. But since we pushed it out, it created this wall 
And so now when you look, don't mind my nails, but when you look through the door, you see the wall that as you walk into our master bedroom, instead of, um, instead of, and you know, to our master, like our bed. Um, so yeah, fireplace, all of the electricals stuff. But yeah, we've got our trees. I love that we see the trees and the land. We obviously have a road behind us. We'll, we're gonna build a, a berm and all kinds of things there, but, um, but yeah, that is it. All right, my friends, that is going to wrap up this video. I'm gonna come stand in the sun. Ah, I'll put my back to the sun, it just feels so good. So that is gonna wrap up this video. Thanks so much for watching and coming along on this journey with us. We truly appreciate you tagging along. If you have not yet hit the subscribe button, smash that bell notification and hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and do that now. It would be greatly appreciated. Obviously helps out uh, my channel and then that way you don't miss anything, right? So thanks again for watching and we will catch you guys in the next one, right Trenner? We'll be here. <laughs> Come along for the ride. Hopefully, yeah. So yeah, so make sure you do all the things and uh, we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.